first. Can you log into this one? Okay. The call call pen. I give you the link. Okay. The purpose of this one is actually uh, showing you something useful. Okay. Okay, this one actually you can create an account. So I haven't created an account, so I will actually uh, also create an account. So I want to make sure I'm using the right account. So here I actually sign up by Facebook. Okay, and continue. Yeah, copy. And it's quite useful. This one actually is quite useful. Wait, how come so my account show this guy? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so anyway, let me show the minimum CA. Okay, uh, fine. Bio. Okay, roughly, I'm just saying something. I think later should be okay to uh, link. Okay, so you can use your school uh, account. I mean, the weekly uh, WHS uh, club account. Anyway, I log into this one, and this one is an online editor. So what this, what's good about this online editor is that you can have a HTML, right? So this HTML actually you don't need to uh, actually you don't need to include the HTML. Since you just think about this HTML is the body, is that okay? Mm. It's a body. You don't actually need to add something else. So here actually because nobody show up, I will just teach you canvas. So you create something called canvas and closing canvas. Okay, and over here you can say with equals uh, say 600 yeah and height equals 480 okay so this is a canvas okay and over here let me see uh, this one so you don't need uh, to type okay okay uh, I, I don't need a tube okay so right here uh, here, let me see. I would like to have say so here CSS. I say my background color, and I will say black. Okay, black color for the background. Mm, let me see. Actually, you don't need that double code. Yeah, you just need black. Okay, and that's just I said a uh, background. So over here, actually, you need to create something for JavaScript, right? So to get the JavaScript for uh, this one for Canvas is actually you can do VAR. Okay, I'm sorry. Here you actually may need to specify the ID equals Canvas. Okay, ID equals Canvas. So here you say that the canvas equals uh, document that get uh, element ID. Okay, ID is lowercase. And then uh, here you say canvas. Is that okay? It's just document get element ID. Okay, that's one thing. And then VAR your C equals. Uh, let me bring my something, okay? Let me just copy something. Uh, okay, here, actually I can do canvas, canvas example. I don't want to uh, actually, okay, let's do this one. Let's try some simple one. Canvas. Okay, here, let's do this one. Let me see, example. Uh, here, folder, we don't need this folder. So, here, what I actually need is this one. Okay. So, after get element by ID, actually, we need this one. Copy over here. Go to our code pen. Go to the code pen. 
Let me see my this one. Wait, not this one. Hey, where is my copen? This one? No. Where is my copen? We call this one. Actually, this one. Let me call this one as well. Okay, get that uh, context. This is my copy. Okay, right here. So this one actually, I need this one pass it over here. Okay. So let me actually explain for you. Actually, uh, first thing is that I need to create something called a uh, canvas, right? And then document uh, element get element by ID and use a uh, canvas. Okay. So the background for this canvas actually will be uh, black. And then here we set up the ID and then the size. And over here, actually, I can do something like uh, the CTS uh, type, uh, field style equals double, double code, uh, white. OK? And here I say CTS dot uh, field rectangle. And then here you need to fill a rectangle. So basically, uh, 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so you fill four then, and then basically up to you, we can, here you can change the name. So this one is like basic, uh, this one called basic uh, canvas uh, example. Okay, this is basic uh, canvas example. So right here, let me see. Lower portion, let me see. Save. Okay, let me see. Uh, auto save enable. So let me see. Uh, the social uh, development environment. So here, canvas is equal to 600. Uh, canvas, did I type something wrong? Background. Oh, okay, here I actually should have uh, canvas. Okay, I should have a canvas. Or I should have a sharp canvas. Okay, either way should be fine. Okay, how comes the background had not been changed? Let me see. Here you have a canvas. ID equals 600. Let me see. Here may need a pixel. Okay, and save. Let me see. Something wrong. Let me actually try to draw a page. Oh, scroll down. You have to scroll down. Scroll down? Yeah. No. Wait, really? Oh. For That's me, I have to scroll down. You scroll down and you work? That's for me. But I don't know. Let me see. You show your screen. I didn't. Oh, no. I was doing fine. I didn't do that thing. Never mind. Yeah. It should show, but actually, maybe I make a mistake. Let me bring up my call, okay? Let me bring up my call. Can you uh, turn your volume down? Can you turn your volume down? Yeah. Can you turn your volume down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me put in my uh, actually my call, my other call. Okay, bring up my break it. Mm, let me see. I may make some mistake somewhere. Okay, let me check. Okay. So this one is HTML. So tidy. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me type cold pen. Uh, canvas. There might be somebody uh, used this already. I, I'm not pretty sure. Uh, cold pen. Let me see. Okay, cold pen example. Uh, so you need to have a canvas ID. This portion is not needed. 
uh, this one's okay, solid line something, and then document variable camera stack something, that is it's fine. So this one actually is work. So let me just copy it, okay? I'm not sure what's going on. Wrong, okay? So let me copy this one to my code pen. It should work, but I don't know what's going on there. So let me paste this one, but here I change it to ID, change it to uh, canvas, okay? And then the width, 600, uh, height, 480, right? And uh, this one, CSS, let me look at the other one. Is, is this one actually is okay, let me copy it. And then go back to my, actually not much difference, so I just copy. Oh, I'm sorry, actually. No, I'm sorry. I should copy this one. Go back to my, over here, paste. Yeah, and then JavaScript CTS, oh, okay. The problem is that here I actually should put cameras, but I think, okay, okay, that should be fine. Then it should be fine now. So now actually let me uh, save. Uh, so here the solid uh, one. So here I should say background. Okay, color black, okay. So I want it to be black, okay. That, that works, right? Not work right, but here we have a CTX field style uh, white and CTX field rectangle. It doesn't work for field rectangle. Let me see. It can pass. No, I don't need that. Actually, uh, this one over here field style. Let me bring up my uh, bracket program. Okay, the purpose is that this canvas is something you can throw something on it, okay? So here, let me see, uh, let me uh, open. CTX. Okay, let me go to, uh, this is JavaScript uh, canvas. Okay, over here, I go to starter, okay, so starter one are uh, easier. So let me actually try starter two. Okay, so basically here we have uh, the style, oh, okay. So here it should have the RGB and field rectangle. Uh, it's like that, should be fine, let me see, here actually, yeah, let me let me copy this thing over. Let me see. Let's get cameras 2D document document by that actually. Yeah. So here I have the the CSS portion is working. So here document that get element. Oh, I missed by ID. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay now. Mm. Yeah, so here you need to talk, I missed the PUI, okay? But anyway, this is the kind of things we can get started, okay? So now let's think about this one. Actually, okay, the two things is that number one, the cameras is your throwing throw 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 pad, okay? So here, let me actually simplify it. This one, actually, we don't need this garbage in between. It actually is some kind of comment. So the only thing you need to have is to have a camera, the size of the pad, and then uh, the ID equal cameras. Okay, CSS you don't need that, but I set the background for cameras to be uh, black. Okay, border you set it or not set it, it actually doesn't matter because the default color is black. Okay, and this one actually canvas is a drawing pad, so you can actually create a canvas drawing pad, right? You can create a chamber drawing pad, and then you actually this CTX is the paintbrush. So like uh, your, your Java, you have a paintbrush. So now, 
we had that. And then this pen brush, I take the white color and then feel the 100 by 100. So here it's actually 100 by 100. Location and width of 100, height of 100. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So we feel something like this, okay? So now let's try different thing, okay? Now let's, let's try different thing. So here I have 680, right? So I can actually create some sort of a pad. So this pad actually I have say 60 as the block size, right? That's as soon as block size is 60. So this totally I can have 10 block. And each one of these I should have uh, what? I should have 480, so this one I should get uh, A block, right? I should get A block, so totally A by by 10, right? Is that okay? A by 10. So each block right now, actually, that, let's assume that if I throw a block of, uh, say, uh, each each box is 60, 60, right? So if inside here, I have two pixels here, two pixels here, two pixels here, two pixels here, pixel here. So this one should be 56 pixel by 60, 56 pixel. Is that okay? So let me see here, my block size. So here I should have a block size of, Canvas that we divided by uh, 10 is okay. Minus 2, uh, minus 4. Uh, minus, let me see, block size, it should be divided by 10 minus 4, yes. Is that okay? Is that okay? Wait, what does that do? That actually, block size is. Let me just call this size, okay? It's too long. So actually, this one actually is like 600 divided by 10 and minus 4, that actually give you uh, 60, right? Uh, 60 minus 4 is 56. So here, let me actually do size. Is that okay? Okay, now let me see also set variable x0 equals 2 and variable x0 equals 2. Is that okay, so now I have this one I feel with a uh, white color, right? So now, next one actually, I want to create totally uh, 68 by 6 boxes. So here I should do for uh, variable i equals 0 i. I less than uh, 10, uh, I less than 10, I increase, okay? For variable j equals zero, right? j less than 10, j increase, okay? So here I have this one, close here to the end, over here, and close, right? and go to the end, this one close, okay? And right here, I open it, okay? Is that okay? So now actually, let me actually push to the right, push to the right, okay? So here I assign a white color and then put it over there, right? So the location actually, first two should be, should be X zero, this is left and top, okay? Left and top, so X zero and Y zero. Okay, so y0 here, I should put uh, y0. Okay, so x0, y0 size of 56, uh, 56, 56. Okay, that give you a, a box. So this one, how about actually, let me do four, a uh, three. Okay, so two, like two small. So this one is, not, let me move up this one, cut this one to here, to put it over here. Because x0, y0 is the first box location. So here I should do minus 2 times 3, uh, 2 times x0. What, what this one is, is, actually, I try to create totally, uh, let me see, four, 3 probably too small. Let me do 5, 5, okay. 
So the thing is, okay, the thing is that I try to create uh, eight by eight by ten boxes, okay, and totally here each box is sixty, right? So inside this sixty, actually inside this sixty, actually I do five pixel here, five pixel here, right, and I have a white box over here, five pixel, five pixel here, right? Is that okay. So totally this become 50 by 50, the block size is 60 by 60. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. So here actually I create two level and this one for say, say I equal zero, I less than uh, 10, say less than 10. Here field location, it is X zero, Y zero. So right here, let me do plus I times uh, a size. Okay, and then here plus uh, j times size. Uh, let me see, not not size. Actually, uh, I'm sorry. Actually, is uh, not j times size. Let me see. Uh, Say times size. Oh, okay. No, no, it's, it's not size. It should be times 60. Okay. Should times 60. Okay. Is okay. Then I can spread them out into such a grid. Okay. Is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically, X. X actually, we this is a, col, a column major now. Actually, this is a column major because first one, your i is going through i equals zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? It actually going this way to twelve first, and then then this is right. So that we finish this one. Now let's go to here to actually uh, generate something. So here I would. Actually, uh, create something called uh, met, uh, random number generator. Before I create a random number generator here, I should do uh, H array. So this H array equals, uh, let me see, H array equals, uh, let me see, zero, and let me see, actually, zero, comma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that okay? So I create seven number, eight number over here, and then copy the whole thing to create other stuff, okay, so I put it down here, and then I create a nine, and then this one, a, b, c, d, e, f, it's okay. I create a hexadecimal numbers. Okay, over here, and actually I do this one, four, let me see. Here I have uh, s equals uh, empty string, okay, and actually uh, sharp signs, okay, and then for k equal uh, variable k equal zero, k less than six, and k increased, right? And here I say s plus equals uh, mass that floor. And then here mass that uh, random times six. So actually this one create a random number from one to six. So here I change to sixteen. Is that okay? Is that okay right now? Yeah. So this one I actually color. Yeah, you can create a color uh symbol. Is that okay? So right here, instead of doing white, actually here, I put S over here, right? Or maybe, maybe, uh, let me see. Yeah, 
okay. Actually, it doesn't get it. I mean, see. It doesn't get it. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Four, Mr. Random times 16. Oh, I'm sorry. I should put it into H array index. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I should get this number and then put it into H, H array element. Let me see. H array element. H array element. Let me see. H array element. What's wrong with it? Zero, one, two. You know, this one actually very uh, tricky because if there is anything wrong, you will not be able to see it. So let me actually try console uh, law. Okay of H2. Let me see what is console log of H2. Okay. And then here inspect console log of H2. Uh, unexpected comma. Unexpected comma. Okay, let me see. So with this one, where is un unexpected comma? Who is unexpected comma? Hey, this catch me. Somewhere there's an unexpected comma. It's part of the new line. What? New line, that's why. Where new line? You you like you like went to a new line. Like you've put the array in two different lines. This one? Yeah. Maybe you put it all in one line. Mm, I do not see it change. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, I changed my mind. Actually, I don't want to use this uh, random color code, okay? How about I change my mind? I actually do this one, put it directly to here, cut this one to here, okay? I change my mind. I directly use the H array to put different color. Okay, so here I let me do this one called uh, actually gray, okay? And this one, dark uh, gray. Okay, this one white. Okay, this one uh, yellow. So some color I know, red, green, peach, cyan. Okay, and then this one azure. I know there's a azure color. Blue. Purple. And maybe this one, um, uh, let me see here. Let's just put some white in there and make sure it works first. Oh, I see. This one is extra. I'm sorry. That is the extra uh, comma, right? Oh, and, uh, and also I make a mistake. It's not Java. <laughs> I make a terrible mistake. It's not Java. It's okay. It works now. Actually, I specified the arrange Java format. It's okay. So here, let me uh, try to create some other color, okay? So how about here, I create some other color. So color. So I get some color name. I just randomly uh, pick some of the color name. I don't know what color it is, but let me just copy a few color them into it, okay, it will work. So I copy and pass on the yellow one. 
uh, on the white one. Okay, so this thing just show you like uh, it is quite useful in terms of creating uh, the uh, creating the the drawing pad. It's I I think that it actually is more faster than you using the uh, Java to create such a things. Indigo, okay, Indigo, good, Indigo. It is actually faster than Java language in terms of creating a game or creating some sort of uh, uh, thing over here. Let me see. Okay, copy it to it. Okay. Okay, so right here, let me see. Actually, let me put the wheat color. Okay. Okay, good. So actually, I uh, create quite many colors. How comes that there are still many white? How comes that there are still many white? Hmm, let me see. Okay, now, now let me do that all the all the trick again. So this one I actually create uh, this uh, fixed color, right? So the fixed color pad is like that. So if I actually save and refresh, let me see, uh, actually save. And actually let me, uh, can I read wrong? Is there any read wrong? Is there any reload, reload uh, one? Let me see, console. Here you have a console. Show comments. Let me see if I reload it. Whatever. Yeah, it it will rerun again, right? So you do reload, it actually will run again. Is that okay? So you will reload again. So this one actually is by fixed color. I give the some fixed color array. So here, let me actually uh, take that out again. Okay. So let me do this one now. Let me do uh, this one actually. Let me do uh, var h equals empty array, right? And then I do for var uh, i equals zero, i less than uh, 16, and then i increase, right? And then here I do my h of i equals uh, the i number, i number actually need to convert it to string, right? So actually I don't do this one. Actually I have the i and I do double quote, double quote plus. Okay, now I'll convert that to string. And over here, let me actually comment out this line. Okay, and copy the whole thing down over here, okay. And this one, I still put my uh, S string over here. So each time I start it with my S string equals empty and with the sharp sign. Okay, oh, and, and then for my variable K equals zero, K less than six, and then K increased. Okay, so my S plus equals uh, some the edge of so here let me do uh, uh, I uh, x x number equals let me see I uh, know no actually here let me actually open the new lines here break it put it down here open the new line and here I say my x equals mass uh, floor Okay, here I say mass that random times 16. Okay, and here I put uh, h of x in there. Uh, that's that's what. What's going on? This one actually not really pretty because what is going on? Let me reload it. Is that always that ugly? Actually, let me save it first. Okay, and let me reload it, okay? 
it, it works, but somehow it, it works, but somehow the color is not what I want it. And it actually not really random. Let me see. Uh, mess the random x. Oh, okay. Mm, let me see. Actually, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Actually, this one uh, is not I. Okay, so here I should say I should actually put if uh, if like. I uh, less than 10, I do this one, right? Right? And then else switch of I, right? I'm sorry. Else, I shouldn't do, be doing that. Actually, else H of I equals double quote, double quote. Uh, actually, it should be uh, my A plus I minus 10. Is that okay? Should be A plus I minus 10. I minus 10. A plus I minus 10. Let me see, is that okay? No, I should do the A plus minus 10. Uh, I minus 10 first. And then plus A. If I less than 10. Oh, I'm sorry, this one actually is not here. I less than 10, H of I equals the I put into it, okay, and h of i, i minus 10, so if i equals 10, is 10 minus 10, is 0 plus a, and this one is unnecessary uh, curly brace, yeah, let me see, actually, if i less than 10, then h of i equals uh, double quote, double quote plus i, Else, if h of i, else, if i not less than 10, then uh, actually is uh, a, a simple plus. Oh, the plus will actually concatenate it. Okay, I'm sorry. So here should be actually plus. 60, uh, I mean, 97, I'm sorry. So I make a mistake. So 97, so this one should be double code, double code plus this. Okay, that's the color. So actually it is, uh, 97 is A, I minus 10 plus that, that would be a number. Oh no, this one is actually a number, so I need to convert that one to uh, convert the ASCII code to a string, right? So here, what I should do here, hmm, let me see. So here, I should say Java script uh, convert ASCII to string. Ah, uh, string from charcoal. Okay, the function is called from charcoal. Yeah, so it's a string that from charcoal. I'm sorry. So I need to use this function over here. So this one actually is from charcoal. String, string from charcoal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. So this one is the conversion of ASCII to uh, string, okay? So I convert ASCII to string, and then that is the color code. So here from 0 to 16, I always give a, a number, is a, some sort of ASCII code, right? So it would be A to F, right? 
and then use those things actually I put it into here that's actually 16 different color uh, actually 0 to 6 so actually every time I connect that core to my S and my S actually is a six uh, six half uh, byte core and that actually can be used to generate such a pad so each color now shouldn't be the same it should be more than 16 color quite many color but each one of them actually quite different is that okay Okay, so this one actually is creating a, creating a, uh, what, creating a color pad. Okay, and then if you are able to make the color pad to move down, falling down, it will become the kind of the game we, we see before. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one, let me save. How about actually, let me actually create a new file. So this one I save. And can I actually uh, create a new file? So here you can share, okay? If you want to share, actually you can share DEV send. Share, let me see. Uh, send the SM uh, for your URL to my phone. So I do one and then actually uh, 510 304. My four two eight. You will send the the URL to my uh, phone, and then I can use my phone's number to actually get a pass. And then it it should be able to you can, you can copy that one, and then uh, actually copy to any website you want. You want to have is that okay. And other than that, we can also actually uh, go back to my uh, code over here, right? So here, actually, let me actually save us this uh, HTML fi uh, file over here. Actually, I can go to my uh, here, easy learning, okay, easy learning, and then go to my CSS, okay, go to my student, go to my website design course, go to my here, let me do this one, okay. Uh, I should actually come to here with course design. Okay, right here, let me actually I go up. Okay, and here let me create something called canvas. Okay, canvas, and then here let me do in canvas, let me do a uh, chapter one. I'm gonna call it coding one, okay. Coding one inside the coding one, okay. And I don't do it starter two, let me call it color pet, okay. That HTML, okay. Color pet that HTML, and right here, uh, I actually don't need this one in here. Actually, I create something called uh, call right here. I'm sorry, right here, I create something called uh. Squid, okay, and here I have a closing of the squid. Okay, the size of the pad still six hundred by four eighty. Okay, okay, and then here unload. I don't need that unload. Actually, I de de delete the whole squid section. I delete the whole squid section, and I set up my style section. Okay. So if you if do experiment on this uh, code pen, okay. So here let me actually do a color pad, okay. The you know, code pen you can see right away. So this uh this scene should be the same as this scene over here, right? And CSS we copy the CSS, okay. Go back to here, uh, put not, uh, into the style. So this is the portion that we copy from CSS. Okay, and then our JavaScript actually from here to here, we actually uh, copy the whole thing and then put it back to this uh, squid section. Is that okay? Put it to this uh, squid section and then actually right here. Let me tap to here, tap to here, tap to here. Okay, so we have squid session. Oh, here I have a typo. 
So this one I have a type of SCRI, okay? And that actually is fine. So let me actually save this callback, okay? And run it, okay? So actually you can do call development. Okay, so actually you can also do this one. You can also copy this one and then I can share with you. So you can modify my code as well. If you log into my same account, so next time I can open a share account, or you when you go go to do uh, what uh, your your uh, your competition in Hackers, you can actually share the same account, and then I copy to you, and you should be able to uh, see the call over there. Is that okay? And this one actually is yeah. I can keep loading. Is that okay? I can keep loading over there. So that's the power of this uh, uh, call, call pen. Okay, call pen. And let me see, can I change view? Let me see, actually, layout. Okay, actually, I, I, I prefer to have some layout like this. It actually makes more sense to me. Maybe like this, okay, call on the left side is really better. And sometimes we don't need that much HTML, we can minimize it and keep more JavaScript. Okay, that's a change view. And then this one is save. Let me see, can I renew a new one? So how to renew a new one? Let me set in. Uh, actually, uh, okay, save and and actually, let me see, can I actually explore, share, delete, okay. Open live view of the next window, come in. So here you can see the console, okay. So console, you come here, you can edit uh, debug. And you have some asset, right? the color, you can use the color picker. Okay, photo that you can use, pattern, icons. Is that okay? Mm. Here you have some design assets, so it actually can speed up the whole design. And I sure I, I now I'm actually forget. Okay, you have the project P pen, so you can start from somewhere. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night.